This is JBig Ticket 23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to install a processor into a Dell Precision T3610 workstation. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to GreenPCGamers.com, click on the blog tab on the top of the page, and then search in the articles T3610. There's going to be an article that pops up that says Awesome Precision T3610 Gaming Computer. Click on that link. And on the top of this blog page, you're going to see a bunch of awesome processor upgrade ideas. Now, we don't sell processors, but we're going to give you the step codes, the speeds. So if you do need to find an upgrade processor for your T3610, this is a great resource for you. Um, you can also search this blog page for other upgrade ideas like uh, memory, uh, solid state drives, graphics cards, uh, monitors, a bunch of awesome, cool uh, upgrade ideas. Everything's free. Um, well, the information is free. Um, so let's get to the install after you've checked that out. So all you need for this install will be some thermal grease or heat paste. Uh, we like to get ours from Shiatsu Microsci or Shinetsu Microsci. Uh, we need a processor. Uh, we need a Phillips screwdriver. And then if you don't already have a heat sink um, fan kit, you'll need to get that too. Um, uh, let's pull off our side panel. Uh, this is a single socket CPU system, so there's only one processor. Um, this is our heatsink fan kit. Um, there's four screws that we're going to have to remove or, or, or uh, loosen to remove this heatsink. There's also a fan that's hooked onto it. All right, so we have two retention clips. We have to pull the bottom one up first, and then we can do the top one. And that will give us access to our CPU socket. Now be very, very careful. Do not touch these pins with your finger. They'll stick to your finger. You'll damage the, the, the pin, the socket, the system board. Um, don't touch it. All right, so you want to line up your CPU notches with the socket and then just drop it right in place. Or gently place it in that socket. All right, then you'll put your top retention clip on first then your bottom retention clip. Once we've uh, put our retention clips in, then we need to put some heat paste or thermal grease. Again, we use uh, thermal grease from Shinetsu Microsci. Uh, we're, this is a one gram syringe, so we don't need to hold, use the whole thing for this actual one CPU. We're gonna do about a pen cap. We're gonna put it right in the center of the CPU because what's gonna happen is when we put our heat sink on and it actually heats up, that thermal grease is going to spread throughout that processor perfectly. All right, so now we need to put our heat sink fan kit back on. Um, there's our Molex connector for our fan. And we'll put that in place. There's four screws that we need to screw in. We're going to do that by hand so that we don't break those screws. We also need to plug our fan Molex connector back into the system board. If you forget to plug that in, it's going to halt on post and tell you to, to plug it in so that fan works to keep that CPU nice and cold. Okay, so now once we've uh, uh, we skipped a step, you do have to put your side panel back on. Obviously, plug your system back in. Um, now we're going to go into the F2 setup just to verify that the CPU is working properly. So we tapped F2 and post, which is that black screen, and it brought us into uh, system setup. Uh, now we're going to go to system information, which is under general at the top. And we're just going to take a look and see that our processor is installed. We installed a, a Xeon, I, a Xeon E5-2687W 3.1 GHz 8-core CPU. Um, this CPU has a max turbo frequency of 3.8 GHz. Now, typically, you see this CPU installed on like a T3600 or 7600 or 5600, but it also works in the 3610, and we got it for a really good price. So that's why we installed this, and it's awesome. It's 8 cores. Almost 4 gigahertz max turbo frequency. So everything is showing up in system setup just fine. Now we need to boot into our operating system, which we have Windows 10 installed. Uh, we're going to go to the device manager. And it's the seventh from the bottom. And that's where we'll find our processors. So we just want to make sure that there's no yellow exclamation points. Uh, we're seeing all eight cores. It's perfect. Everything's working perfectly. Now... If you still haven't done your install yet, one thing that you might want to do before you upgrade a CPU is upgrade your BIOS so you have all those all the latest microcode updates. So, um, and that's that's pretty important because sometimes if you install a processor that doesn't have the latest micro microcode update on your system, 
it could cause your system not to get video. Then you have to put your old CPU back in and then uh, and then um, update the BIOS, install a new proc, and, and it should work just fine. Um, so hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, make sure and comment below. Um, definitely hit that subscribe button. That helps us out big time. Um, thank you so much for watching.